James Rowe. People sometimes ask me, what's my favorite Bible verse? Well, it's a story, actually. It's a story of Mary Magdalene coming to the tomb after the crucifixion. She's coming to care for her Lord, and she's so overcome with grief that she does not even recognize Jesus. And it's only when Jesus speaks her name and says, Mary, her eyes are open and she can see Jesus. I think that's what happens to us. We as the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America believe that we're church for the sake of the world because we have been seen and known by Jesus and our eyes are open so that we can see Christ in others. We don't see people as problems to be solved. We understand that they are precious children of God created in the image of God and that since Jesus has found this world precious and fascinating, we ought to be doing the same thing. In baptism, we know that we are freed from sin, death, and the devil, and that beautiful imagery of water pouring on someone's head, washing away sin, giving us new life. It brings to mind to me Psalm 42, that just as a deer longs for cooling streams, so long our hearts for thee, O God. But what if you couldn't get water? What if there was no fresh, clean, safe water available to you unless you walked for hours a day? This past summer at the youth gathering, our youth worked with the ELCA World Hunger's Walk for Water project and raised over a half a million dollars. They were matched by a generous donor to raise a million dollars so that we can make fresh, clean, safe water available to people all around the world. We also understand that in Holy Communion, we are fed with the bread of life and that Jesus' life is poured out for us in the wine. And so fed and nourished with bread and wine, we are then strengthened to help other people realize the abundant life that God promised to us through Jesus Christ. We, as the ELCA, work together with Showbiz Table in St. Paul, Minnesota. It's a marvelous food truck with great, delicious food. They work with people experiencing homelessness or food insecurity. It's a worshiping community in a very unusual setup. Not only do we feed people with Shobi's table, feed their bodies, we also feed their souls with the good news of Jesus Christ. We also understand that daily bread does mean peace and honor, and that doesn't happen everywhere in the world. We serve along with other churches in the Lutheran World Federation to help Syrians in the refugee camp in Jordan, where they have been forced from their homes because of warfare. They told us when we went to visit them that they really just want to go home. We asked a man, what do you want the rest of the world to know? He said, tell them that we're suffering and that we're human beings. We know that Jesus was himself a refugee and that the Holy Family fled from violence into Egypt. And because Jesus experienced this, we know that he stands with those people when they come from Syria to Jordan or from Central America to the United States but stands also with us so that we might receive them as if we were receiving Christ. We often talk about the what of what we do, what we do for refugees or for the hungry or for those who do not have access to clean, safe water. We often talk about the what of ecumenical and interreligious relationships that we have, but we're not always good about talking about the why. And the why of what we do is that we have been set free by the gospel, by the good news. And this is the good news, that when we were yet helpless, when we were yet sinners, when we were enemies of God, we were reconciled to God through the death of God's Son. The work of reconciliation has been done by God. That has been accomplished. It's not up to us to save the world. God has already done that through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But we are invited into the reconciliation and the reconciling work that God does in the world. That's why we are at work. And our primary work as Church for the Sake of the World is to tell people about this good news. The world deserves to hear the gospel. In a strange way, we understand that all of us, apart from Christ, are impoverished. That as Luther said, we're all beggars. And as one pastor said to me, we all stand in God's breadline. The work that we do as church for the sake of the world doesn't belong to any one expression of this church. We need everyone, whether it be a food pantry or a homeless shelter run in your congregation or the work that we do with ELCA World Hunger, advocacy in Washington DC or at the United Nations or welcoming the stranger. This is all work that we do together. We show up in a lot of places. 
But we need to remember and hold out that we are church first. We're not a social service organization with sacraments, but because we have our life in Christ, because we have been claimed in baptism, nourished at the Lord's table, because we abide in that love, we are set free and able to do this work. We are the body of Christ, and together we are church for the sake of the world.